These drones can save lives. Dams, bridges, and other massive infrastructures need regular inspections to guarantee there are no cracks or damages that could compromise safety. Traditionally, these operations require a crew of professionals repelling from dangerous heights. But with the inclusion of drones, these inspections become safer, more accurate, and less expensive, which means that the teams can perform more of them. But how do they do it, and what does it take? Let's get into it. This is Diablo Dam in Washington, a 389-foot-tall power-generating infrastructure that supplies Seattle with electricity. Last summer, the engineering company HDR took its drones to complement the traditional rope inspections of Seattle City Light. The result was a two-hour flight and more than 82 million data points that document the condition of the structure with its cracks, spalls, and other areas in need of repair. Drones are able to get places that people can't. Right, so drones are able to see things and, 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 and get to certain areas that a traditional rope inspection might not allow. Imagine rappelling down a dam, going down a rope, and trying to report back on, you know, I, I see an issue here and it's a crack and it looks like this. And, you know, maybe you got a tape measure and you're, you're, you're trying to, to, you know, get a rough estimate there and maybe sketch out what the, the crack is looking like. Versus, here's a centimeter accurate model that I can take precise measurements off of and use artificial intelligence to not identify one crack, you know, or one potential spalling area, but literally overnight run that analysis on thousands of square feet of area of that dam and generate a detailed report highlighting all of those instances that were found. Cameron Schaefer is the transportation data acquisition lead at HDR. HDR is a full service firm that specializes in engineering, architecture, environmental, and construction services that has been using drones for the past three years. The program has grown from five pilots to more than 20 who sometimes work with subject matter experts who control the gimbal and the screen and know exactly what they're looking for during each inspection. In some operations, simple consumer devices may be enough, while others require very specialized equipment depending on the nature of the mission and the conditions at the site. The director of data acquisition at HDR, Carlos Femmer, explains. It could be captured with anything from a uh, Mavic, a Inspire, you have the M210. Now you have uh, the uh, Intel Falcon 8s or some other uh, types of drones with different payloads you can put on there. In some of the cases with the dams, we've done them entirely with drone only. Uh, in certain cases, we want to add other kind of tripods. There are some cage drones. So I, I think it ranges from you know, smaller drones all the way through, uh, uh, you know, inspection all the way to the uh, fixed wing. And then there's others that we're looking at in the future as well. The next question is what happens with all this information? These databases include a number of different formats that in some cases total well over 100 gigabytes of data. This data can take between one day and two weeks to process and needs to be delivered in a usable way. The result is a digital twin a replica of a real asset that can be updated as conditions change. It can be delivered through a browser or even a virtual reality environment. But what makes it unique is its ability to adapt to new information. The really neat thing where we're starting to see some of these developers go with the digital twin solutions is our, is our IoT or Internet of Things connected devices. You know, say you've got a seismometer or, or you know, something that's measuring movement in an asset, anything that's able to capture that data, you're building on top of this digital twin and you're layering it. And it's, it's, it's always collecting more, it's always changing, and it's, and it's always getting more and more uh, informed. Here's the digital twin of Diablo Dam, a 3D model created from high resolution images, survey data, and engineering drawings. The drone captured images with a roughly 60% overlap that the team stitched together through a process called aerotriangulation. Together with the ground control imaging, they were able to achieve a 2 centimeter accuracy in the plants. That's less than 1 inch. Now, using machine learning and predictive analysis, professionals can anticipate what kind of structural repairs will be needed over time. And that makes the dam safer in the long run. That's all for this week. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Oral. Stay safe out there, everybody.